Let's, man, let's get to this main event, man. man. I think this one, it's been it's been a long time coming. Uh, dating back to when they first turned pro, but I mean, I just feel like when they made the announcement of this fight during Super Bowl weekend, it, it just like blew up instantly, and it's been a long time coming. Most people didn't wasn't sure whether or not we get here. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about all that. I do obviously that will play into you know kind of the X's and O's right. of how we think the fight's gonna play out as a whole, but. You know, my thing is we got two young fighters that are relatively hungry um, in their own in their own respects. And go ahead, Ann. I just think Ryan Garcia is on an ass whooping tour. Damn. I think it goes Tank, Devin, Teal, or well, it's gonna be something secure. in between because he had the he had the fight in between uh, Tank Dwight and said, this one. Yeah, yeah so it. he gotta have he he, he not worry about that. But he kicked somebody's ass. All right. No, 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 it's no, it's him going around. He just has the name that he's going to keep going around getting his ass whooped. <laughs> That's why I think happens with, with Ryan Garcia. I think he wants the money, but uh, to this fight, man. Uh, and does not have to interview these people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, uh, we actually text. I no, think he probably okay, stopped okay. texting me because of the okay, okay. way I've been talking over here. Man, listen. But, uh, uh, man, I'm looking forward Good. to this fight. I just think Devin Haney is in his prime right now and uh, juggernaut. Ryan in his prime. Uh, uh, juggernaut, <laughs> Chill, just let <laughs> juggernaut. The kid always worried, worried about the kid' heart, power. He showed me a lot of that in the last couple of fights. I couldn't believe how he did Regis. Man, Regis tough, gritty, uh, just dominated the kid from start to finish. Put him down once. I think he hurt him again. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan, man, I just hope Ryan's focused for this fight. You need to be 110 percent against Devin Haney. Is Devin Haney prime yet? Is, is, uh, is entering this? it. I don't think we're quite there still, actually. That's 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 yeah. what's scary. Yeah. And, and it's like, like clearly entering it. And yeah, he's yeah. I'm like, is the kid growing? I feel like the kid's getting bigger in fights. <laughs> like he's starting to look like a welterweight at 140. Supposed to. Yeah, looking like what I just worry, what does Ryan have? I know he got the the left hook. One 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 dimensional fighter can beat Devin Haney. Not even close. Not even a two. Not even maybe a three. He's going to have to dig deep in this bag, kind of like Sean didn't get the win, but Sean versus uh, Earl Spence. De Ryan going to have to have a plan B, plan C. Plan just keep going, D, E. Keep going, baby. Damn. Does Ryan got that much in his bag besides that left hook? Well, Derek's trying to, you know, Derek's working on his catch and shoot game. Mm -hmm. And what the, the, two, the two improvements I saw from Derek, and it's, it's, it's a trademark of his, is Throwing more punches per round, and he handled the pace pretty well. Uh, it wasn't tired at his media day. Throw a lot of punches mm -hmm. and the catch and shoots. Mm -hmm. But the problems I saw is a lot of it kind of fell apart when Ryan had to move his feet forward. Mm -hmm. And and when now, now when he was able to plant his feet and throw his combinations with Derek, Derek looked like he's working on putting his punches together, better punch selection, other than just looking for the left hook or that big straight right hand. That's all good stuff, but how often is Devin Haney going to let you plant your feet? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you as, as, a, as to how I think this fight goes, you were talking earlier about how the American style, you know, in and out, right? And Devin, he still did that against Regis in dominating that fight. Um, maybe he could have got a stoppage if he sat down on the counters a little bit, did a little of this, a little of that, whatever. It was still a great shutout. That, but in this fight, if he's in and out again, because he could win the fight easy doing that. Because Ryan's feet aren't the best, just like Regis's feet weren't the best. Mm -hmm. And the guy's got power. So if he's in and out, he might have to settle for a decision. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to kind, I'm kind of want to see from Devin in this fight is the the counter punching, and it's, it's in particular the right hand. Mm -hmm. You know, and be a, a little bit like Terrence did did Spence, where he's not just in and out. He is his feet are planted, little half steps back but not all the way out to where you can't sit down on the counter. If Devin mixes in some of that, maybe, or, or it may not, might, might not even have to come that way. Yeah. Maybe it's just stepping on the gas, stepping to him a little bit as the fight goes on and yeah. you're gaining control and you can stop him that way. But that, would, yeah. yeah what do you think of that? Uh, uh, what, I, I think if Ryan gives up ground, he gets stopped. I think Maybe if trying to fight I mean, off his kind of like, either way. You know, if you're giving up ground, Devin's going to get... He's already come into the ring with a, so much momentum. You is just you know pouring out of him. Um, but I think the other side of that too. I mean, he could be aggressive and go get him if he feels like Ryan ain't ain't for it. 
tighten it to pick him up and step to if him. If Ryan and, ain't able yeah. to defend things, if Ryan starts taking steps back, Devin is definitely going to step forward and take it away from him. The thing that I think he feels challenged by what his dad keeps saying. His dad keeps saying he is the face of boxing. They went on FaceTime today, and he was asking Devin, are you going to put him on his back? And Devin guaranteed this morning a knockout. Guaranteed. He never does that. They went on on FaceTime, on Instagram, this Instagram morning. Instagram The dad and the... And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got FaceTime. <laughs> you don't know do I do it most of the time. <laughs> yeah. But that validates what I was just about to say. He takes it as a challenge, and he's accepting the challenge to become the face of boxing. I think they believe that this is that fight that makes him the face of boxing. Mm -hmm. I still don't know. I don't know if this is especially... Ryan has done so much outside of the ring to kind of kind of spoil a lot of what could happen for the Haney's moving forward. He after stops this him, fight. Sean? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, if he stops him. Oh yeah. But you're still gonna get a lot of people saying, well, Ryan is yeah. Ryan, that da 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 da. But to the point of all that, he's accepting the challenge to become the face of boxing. I think he wants to be the face of boxing. Step into him. If Ryan ain't ain't ain't, ain't for it, he gonna get it that way. I could also see if he start if he takes the half step back and comes back with quick counters. That's another way to get it done. You know, what's the what's the what's the the the, the road to success for 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 Garcia? You know, I look at it from a psychological standpoint and I just I really do believe that Ryan is going to come to the ring thinking that he can match him speed for speed, power for power, movement for movement, defense for defense. The list goes on. I truly think that they're going to that that's what Ryan and his team believe. Obviously, a round or two, if there's no success, that may alter some things. But when you look at the 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 history of these fighters, why is it important to look at the history? Because even though they were kids, you still you 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 had this experience. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's almost like like when you line up to race somebody and everybody could connect. Y'all been on some races before. You line up. I race. I race. Uh, yeah, you, Malcolm. Malcolm, you Smoked know what I mean? Him. Yeah, that was like two years ago. I mean, you a grown ass man racing. Yeah. So I know y'all was kids <laughs> racing at one point in time. When you race the same person and you lose to them or you beat them, y'all, 10 years down the line, <laughs> oh, you remember what I did to you? Da, 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 da. You're connected to beating this person. It don't matter where you've been in life. It don't matter what you did, what they did. You're still connected to the fact that you beat this person before. That the fact that you've seen them legs move before. He done seen the arms move before. He done seen the fists before. So I think they're going to be connected, man. I don't think Ryan Garcia beats Haney, but I do believe we're going to get a surprise in this fight. Okay. I don't know what that surprise is going to be. But I, and y'all already know me, man. I'm a, I'm a optimi I'm optimistic at, at its finest. I don't even know if that's the word. Uh, is that the word? Maybe Optim optimist at sometimes I'm a, at fault. It's I'm my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, optimist yeah, yeah. At, at, at you know at, fault, yeah. to 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 to, to, a, to a fault. I mean. full, to its fullest fault. degree. <laughs> <laughs> to its fullest yeah. degree. So with that being said, I definitely when you talk about him landing that that hook, he's only got a hook. When you got an eye for the hook, it don't matter. If this mm. the only punch I got. Uh, uh, Deontay Wilder is is a prime example of that. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think that the hook is always gonna be there for him as long as he has the confidence to throw it. If you close your eyes and you've seen yourself hit this kid Devin Haney with this left hook before, you able to actually manifest that and make it happen. So well, I'm I mean, on record for saying I think uh, something crazy. I worry about him getting lulled to sleep because I think he got lulled with a uh, tank. When that moment where he turned it up for no reason. He turned take, it up for that was that his was fault. That was no reason. <laughs> that was his fault. And then we obviously we know Haney don't got tank power, but yeah. it just don't well, be he's hyped up. You know what I mean? Well, that you can't be hyped moment. up in a world championship and fight this like kid that. Do not control his emotions, so I could definitely see the wasn't same a thing happen. Fight. Oh, yeah. He yeah. Just, it was a big fight, but it wasn't title. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. And, and well, I, mean, I don't happen. think he felt that was his inexperience showing. Yeah. He, he skipped two or three levels to, to make that big money in the tank fight and certainly got that big money, yeah. but it cost him competitively, you know, heading into that fight. I think Garcia's path to victory is if his catch and shoots are on point and they're really working with Derek and he's able to just walk Devin down, um, you know, and, and, and being in this weight class, just being stronger than he was for the tank fight. But I, I think that's his path to victory is if he's walking down and catching very well with Derek. But I... I don't. I, I think I got Haney because you need more than the good high guard and the catch and shoot yeah. to to get through a, a guy who could pick you apart like Devin. So yeah. what I'm expecting from Ryan, 
I'll call it bottled chaos for three rounds. For three, those first three rounds, he's going to be at his most dangerous because mm -hmm. that's before Devin really starts to figure him out and yeah. get a beat on him. Yeah. So I think in those first three rounds, you, it may be looking like, oh, shit, Ryan's going to get him. Like, yeah. Ryan could do this. And then after those three rounds or so, that, that bottled chaos is going to dissipate and disintegrate. Why do you call it bottled chaos? Because he's carrying a lot of chaos with him into the ring. Yeah. And I think for three rounds, it's going to be bottled up in a way that's effective for him. Uh -huh. but, but it'll begin to be undone yeah. by the gotcha. smarter fighter who's picking him apart and adjusting to him round by round. And yeah. that golf and class and yeah. experience and skills is going to show more and more Listen, as the fight man, goes on. If you're Derek James and you ain't told this kid, Ryan Garcia, you, you need to be ready to make adjustments every round. You need to be mm -hmm. ready to step up every round. That's, that's what it takes at the, at the highest level. If you've been to the highest level, you've performed at the highest level being Derrick James, and you know what it feels like, you know what, what it takes, you have to impart that. You have to translate that. You have to give that to the fighter that even though he's been there before, he didn't, he didn't truly uh, perform at that high level, you now have to give this fighter that way of thinking, that way of operating, that way of using his energy and things like that. Go ahead. Yeah, and I just hope Derrick James just has a plan B. I don't feel like, I felt Derrick James kind of sent Terrence, not Terrence, Earl into the ring to beat Earl Spence. And I felt like it was nothing else, no plan B to beat Terrence Crawford. It would just be you. Well, Derek, you know, great trainer, won trainer of the year for a reason, yeah, 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 multiple yeah, yeah, times, yeah. right? So well, I don't, Great you know, fighters. But he's got a little something to prove if he, if he wants yeah. to remain one of the, the very, very best because he's actually talked, I think he said in an interview recently that these fighters I'm working with now are the last ones and I'm done. Mm. And, you know, um, you know, a year ago, it's like he has Joshua, he has Ryan, he has Frank, he has Charlo, he has Spence. Now it's like we don't know if his, his Spence is going to continue to work with him. Joshua left for Ben Davison. Um, you know, Frank Martin is still Frank Martin. But if, if you knew Frank Martin before he got to Derek, most of the stuff, Derek got him holding his lead glove a little differently. You know, Derek has his imprint. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the stuff that Frank does, he was able to do before he got to Derek. Mm -hmm. And then Jermel Charlo, when he knocked out Castaño to become undisputed, he leaned heavily into Joan Guzman for those adjustments. It was... That was the Joan Guzman imprint, mm. fighting off the ropes, sliding off the ropes, throwing combinations. That's how Guzman used to fight. Mm -hmm. And Jermel was working with him a lot heading into that fight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Derek's always been an excellent trainer, but his star has dimmed a little bit in yeah. the last year, and this would be a huge win for him. Yeah. So, and, and in talking about plan Bs, I don't know. I, it, Derek's always shown the high guard, the catch and shoots, mm -hmm. the busy activity. Yeah. But, uh, you know, head movement and adjustments and things like that that's not always been a part of what he brings to the table for his fighters so i i don't know you know we'll see yeah so yeah well, this this weekend 